Stanford University. The personhood, which is what the Nazis were trying to destroy and erase from the globe, personhood, Jewish personhood in this case, comes through in every, every aspect of a, a work of art. The sense of leaving your own mark, of saying that you were here and you stood for something, you knew something, was, a, was the very essence of creative resistance. People who had certain skills survived because the Nazis wanted them around. Maybe someone was singing uh, songs or playing songs in an orchestra that reminded them of their happy times in the idyllic Germany beforehand. There was some sense among those who understood what the Nazis were doing during World War II, that the Nazis were not only trying to wipe out their enemies or a generation that they thought didn't need to be in the world, their whole annihilation policy towards not only Jews but Poles and homosexuals and many gypsies for certain and many other groups. Parents, when they were holding their children at a terrible time, whether it was on the way to the crematorium. This is hard even to talk about, but the fathers or mothers would sing to these babies they had in their arms, sing some lullaby that would calm the babies. Some of the research was so excruciating for both of us that the only way we could sort of keep each other in balance was not to talk about it. Gideon Klein taught students, he played piano beautifully, and he composed music. He had created a quartet and wanted it to be performed. And just before it was going to be performed, one violinist was grabbed away and just sent in a transport to Auschwitz. But he rewrote the quartet as a trio, three people. That policy wasn't just trying to remove the people, it was trying to remove the memory of those people, and the very memories that those people might have inside them. And that assault on memory was countered by what we call creative resistance, that is by placing your name, or your sketch, or your song, or your journal into the world, lancing it as it were into the world, so that you could be an opponent of that assault on memory. And creative resistance really isn't just taking on the Nazis or the perpetrators. It's taking on what they're trying to do, which is a race. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.